Hello everyone, I'm Sammy from Microbat.net and today we're going to be talking about Game Jam, an iOS game hacking app that allows you to get, as the name might imply, unlimited gems, money and so on in your iOS games. As always, you can find this app at Cheatware.net. Just go to your favorite search engine and Google or search for Cheatware and there you'll find Cheatware.net. Go to the Game Jam icon and you'll be able to find out how to download this. It's available in multiple repositories. And after you've installed Game Jam on your device, all you need to use it is a game that you're looking to hack and a value inside that game that you're looking to change. In our case, it's KOTOR, awesome game. And our skill points are currently at 30, as you can see right there. So what you do is you tab out, you go into Game Jam, and as you can see right now it's not connected to any app so you go to the button at the left you select the app of your game in this case it's KOTOR and now you're able to scan the game for a value in our case that would be 30 because that's what our skill points are currently at for value type go for auto then go back into the game and change the value because once you do a search for the initial value Game Jam will find a lot of memory values, probably thousands, that are at 30 or at whatever number your value is at. So you need to narrow down that list by changing the value in-game and then coming back to Game Jam to scan for the new value so that you can narrow down the list. As you can see, we have 80,000 values. If we were to change them all, we would crash the game. So we go back into the game and we change this skill point value by spending some skill points in our particular case. Now, what you're going to do by going back to Game Jam and scanning for the new value is you're going to narrow down by scanning the values that were previously at 30 for the values that are now at 29 or to whatever value you changed your particular value. So just enter the new value, search again, and now we are down to 8 values all right now in your case if you're at a higher value than that if you have more numbers then repeat this process until you're below 10 values after that you can go into the value list and basically change all the values to whatever you like like 900 1999 or whatever you want to go for usually there is a limit depending on the data type um, but probably you should be fine if you change it to like 99,000 or 999,000. Uh, that usually works depending on the value type. Some value types allow you to go higher, like some value types allow you up to like 2 billion and other value types uh, don't allow you to do that. But there's nothing that can go wrong. Once you've changed the value, you can go back into the game, spend some points or sometimes it updates automatically in this case it didn't update automatically we have to spend some points in order for it to update and as you can see we have now uh, a lot of skill points <laughs> which is obviously awesome and that is essentially how it works that is how you hack games on your ios device using game gem now once you've mastered this particular technique you can obviously try to play around with fuzzy search which is basically searching by increased decreased or unchanged values uh, which is awesome if you have like a health bar or an xp bar and you don't see the actual number you can also try to go for different value types and see how that affects the scan speed and so on so there there's a, a, a really high skill ceiling when it comes to using using this tool but for hacking single player games so some really simple stuff like gems or money a lot anyone should be able to do it it's a pretty simple process as you've seen right here and yeah for data type just set it to auto most of the time that way you should be able to catch any value uh, if you're more advanced and you know if it's an integer or float and so on you can play around with that and you know that way you might cut down on the time that is needed to actually find the right value and you can obviously go in and change the value again and so on now guys this kind of game hack for ios only works for single player games because the problem about online games the the games that if you put your game into in i mean your phone into uh, flight mode they won't work okay that's how you know it's an online game if you don't have an internet connection you don't have wi-fi you don't have any internet and the game doesn't work usually 
it's impossible to hack it using Game Jam. That's the only real downside of Game Jam. It's an unable to hack online games because they store their values such as gems and money and so on on the game servers, which are PCs that you don't have any access to. Anyways, guys. Now, this is Game Jam. It's an awesome game hacking app. You can find it at the link in description as always or at cheatware.net. Also, if you're looking for very specific hacks for your iOS games, I would recommend you go to HackerBot.net. Just Google HackerBot, you'll be able to find it. On the main page, you can go to Find Cheats in order to have access to a very special custom search engine that allows you to find cheats and mods for iOS games very, very easily. Now, if you search in Google for iOS mods, game mods, hacks, and so on, you will usually find spam, scams, survey offers, and whatever kind of scam is popular these days. This search engine will only search legitimate cheating websites that only allow legitimate content uh, for actually providing hacks for your iOS games. So if you go for Clash of Clans iOS mod, you will find legitimate places where you can find and download iOS mods for Clash of Clans, for example, or whatever game you want. Just enter your game, enter iOS, and enter mod, and you'll be able to find cheats for your iOS games easily. Anyways, guys, I thank you guys very much for watching. There'll be links for everything that I've mentioned here in description of this video for Game Jam and for HackerBot and for everything else. Thanks to you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.